Hello guys, welcome back to my PlayStation All Stars Arcade Mode Let's Play. In this episode, we are going to be playing as Sly Cooper and we're going to be playing as Sly on All Star Mode. In the last episode, we played as Colonel Radek and we managed to play as him on All Star just fine. I enjoy his play style and I'm definitely going to play as Radek again sometime. In this episode, we're going to be playing as Sly Cooper and let's do it on All Star I'm because I've done it on All Star before. But I do think this is going to be quite tricky for me as Sly Cooper does not suit my play style. And I'll explain why when we get into the first match. Okay, I'll see you guys there. What? The greatest thieving guy in history suddenly decided to go straight? Look, here and here. It's a clean job, there's no doubt about it. Very clean, very professional. I wouldn't have caught it myself if I wasn't looking for- Bentley, what am I looking at? I don't see anything here. That's just it. They're not there. At least two pages are missing. Maybe more. Missing? But it's been locked in a vault since we recovered it. Or so we thought. These pages were removed recently, Sly. Ab Murray put a new air freshener in the van. We're gonna find those pages, and whoever took them. Okay, Sly's first match is against Noriko, of course, it's a timed match. Sly, however, doesn't really suit my playstyle massively, and the reason for that is because he's actually the most agile character in the game, and because of this, he is actually the most stealthiest character in the game. Dojo, Pa Rapper the Rapper, as every single. as the start of every single arcade mode. Welcome. Glad to drop in. Oh. Ready? Let's do this. Fight. Okay, how Sly is actually quite a tricky character for me to play as, despite me beating him on All Star, that was many moons ago. That must have been my first round of time when I first brought this game. I don't really play a slime massively, and the reason for that is because he is actually a very stealthy character, and he really does not suit my playstyle massively, as you can see. I'm not really using Sly in the most effective way possible. Sly is more of a stealthy approach character. Oh, I actually got the repack, nice. Yeah, Sly is definitely the most stealthy character in the game. He can definitely hide from enemies, and he... Yeah, and he's easily... Yeah, a character that can sneak up on enemies and attack them, and yeah. Which can make him quite a tricky character to take out sometimes, but however it is, this is really is a playstyle approach that really does not suit mine. I'm definitely more of a, a character that does not sneak around and just go for the character enemy straight away. But you can do that with Sly, but it's very tricky to do so. Yeah, so as you can see here, Sly is the only character in the game that can't actually block. If you press the block button, Sly will actually disappear off the screen for a short period of time, and he can still move around while doing this to get away from enemies. So yeah, that's what makes Sly quite a unique and interesting character because of how effective this move actually is for him. Yeah, so Sly is actually a very interesting character to play as, and he really is a character how that reads not too much play, so I'm really not a sort of a stealthy person, well as a character that plays a stealthy character, so... Yeah, and I'm playing this on All-Star because I've done it before, so hopefully I can do it again in this Let's Play. Let's hope so. Oh, for God's sake, here we go, stop it. Let's take her out. Well, I need to find a good chance to take her out. Sly's level 1 is very effective. Basically, Murray comes on the screen to help out. He basically charges at enemies. I have to admit, Sly probably has the most effective power-ups in all-star moves in the game. Sly's all-star level 1 all-star is very effective. Yeah, I actually really enjoy it. Oh, I forgot to say. Ah, I'm literally being battered here. I'm still in the lead though, and that's all that matters. Ah, for God's fuck's sake. Jesus. Yeah, I definitely love Sly Cooper as a character. I've, I've loved every single Sly Cooper game. I've played Sly Cooper a lot in the past, and I love every single one of his games. Yeah. I love the first one, the second one, the third one, and Feeds in Time. I think they're all fantastic. They're definitely a PlayStation icon. Sly's definitely a PlayStation icon. He's definitely one that most people would probably... Unlike... He definitely fits in with likes of Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank, because he was definitely a PS2 era character. Yeah, and he's he's probably the least heard of, actually, out of Ratchet and Clank and Jack and Daxter, but yeah, it doesn't mean he's not a popular character. As I live in the UK, I've never seen a place a, a video game like a Sly Cooper game with like a platinum a platinum case. Honestly, that doesn't bother me massively, so I'm not really a fan of platinum cases on PS2, but... Yeah, and it's quite surprising, so I would have thought Sly would be quite popular, considering he is a PlayStation exclusive and a PlayStation mascot. Okay, Sly won that game, of course. Piss easy. Well, not exactly piss easy, because I did have to think deep there. Okay, the second match we got is against Carl and Radek. It's a timed match. 
No, a timed match. Yeah. Yeah, so obviously Sly, playing as Sly for me is going to be very tricky for me because he's really as a character doesn't play suit my playstyle. But I'm going to see how... I, f I just know this is going to get tricky as the game, as this arcade mode goes on. I just know it. And of course we're on Sando Village, Jack and Daxter. This is actually the first time this Let's Play I've actually been on this map. I'm quite surprised I've not actually been on this maybe because Jack, yeah, Jack and Daxter my, is my favourite game series of all time as you will know already if you've watched all my Jack and Daxter Let's Play so far. Woo. Yeah, Sly is going to be a really tricky character for me to play. So I've beaten him on All-Star before so that means I definitely can't do it again so I thought why not do it on All-Star. I was thinking... I have played him before so I am quite familiar with what he does and yeah, and it's quite... But hopefully I can master Sly easily and hopefully do this. Yep, I've got Cole. What makes Sly a very good character for me though is his all-star moves. When you want his, his meter to build up and he's eventually got an all-star move, they're very, all of his all-star moves are very effective in the game. His level 1 is when Murray comes on screen and literally charges into everybody and takes them out. I'd probably safe to say that's probably the most effective level 1 in the whole game. It's probably definitely my favourite one anyway, in my opinion. It's easily my favourite. Oh god. Yes, this definitely feels like Jack and Dax, especially when you've got a lurker shark in the water over there. If you fall down in the water, a lurker shark will come up and eat you. Yeah, it's basically what happens in Jack and Dax, the precursor legacy of Jack swam out to swam out of the game well too far. And the world of everybody's golf in Vain Sand in the village. I have played everybody's golf in the past. It's not my favourite game series because I'm not really a golf person, but Ah, this this demonstrates Slice Level 2 here. Sly's level 2 is actually great, it's really great for racking up kills. Sly gets on a jetpack and basically blasts it the crap out of everyone. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. If you've played Sly Cooper in a Phoebus Raccoon, it's the first Sly game, you'll definitely remember when Sly uses that um, jetpack to take out clockwork at the end of the game. Yeah, so that's, that's what Sly's level 2 attack basically is. So far I'm not doing great with Sly, which really isn't surprising because he, he is a character that really does not suit my playstyle. I think I should have definitely shouldn't have picked All Star. I did say in the last episode I was going to play as Sly in All Star, and of course, when I said that, I had to keep that promise because I did say I was going to play as him in All Star, and of course, I had to keep that promise. Oh, so far, I'm doing alright in this game so far. Yeah. I tried recording this episode last night, but I was very tired. I, every single. I literally lost many of the Sly matches, and I thought, screw it, this is not going to make a good episode. So, I tried recording this episode last night, and of course, I'm recording this now the day later, and I, I'm feeling a bit. More energetic now and all oh, and he just avoided right exit yeah and i'm definitely feeling more in the commentary mood at the moment yeah and i'm definitely doing much better with sly at the moment because of this okay let's see if i can, let's see if i can get one another kill before the end of this i got cold nice oh boy yeah so sly for me is really is not a character i enjoy playing as i love his i love his games however i love every single one of his games I've beaten all four of his Sly games. I've actually platinum Sly 1 and Sly 2 on PS3 and PS Vita, so that just shows how much hours I poured into Sly Cooper games. Oh god. Oh, that was just in time. I won. Nice. I lost this game last night, and this was the game that made me frustrated. Because Radek always kept winning. Okay, I see the third match we've got now, and who do we have? We have Ratchet, Spike, and Raiden. Hmm. I don't know how I'm going to do when it, later on in this arcade mode because, with this slide because I, as I played Hall Star with Kratos and Ryzen there was always a particular match I would lose and I'd always get frustrated with it. And I don't know, as I'm not familiar with Sly, I don't know if that's going to happen here a lot. Let's hope it doesn't though. Oh, I hope not. But we'll find out. We're on Black Rock Stadium and Twisted Metal, probably my, one of my favorite maps in the game actually. Glad to drop in. Blank, we've got some work. Ready? Fight. So if you guys are watching this right now, just letting you guys know, this is not going to be my best uh, PlayStation All-Stars Arcade Mode episode just because Sly is not the character I play as the most. And yeah, I'm definitely not familiar with his playstyle massively. I'm familiar with him, but not as familiar with him as I am with Kratos, Nathan Drake, you name it. Because... Yeah, they really do not... Sly's move set in this game does not suit my playstyle. He's more of a stealthy character, and yeah, it's not really the, how I'd play a fighting game, but... Yeah, again, some people may like Sly's... I've seen Sly people, people play a Sly multiplayer, so... 
yeah. It's definitely safe to say he definitely... There are some people that definitely enjoy his stealthy approach, and I've got the axe. I can definitely do with this to build up my meter. In this map, I'm going to be showing off Sly's Devil 3, because Sly's Devil 3 is actually pretty cool as well. It's definitely great for racking up kills. If Sly's Devil 2 is great for racking up kills, obviously it's Devil 3 has got to be great as well for racking up kills. Otherwise, Devil 2 is going to literally be more powerful than Devil 3 in that case. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Cool, cool. I need just to avoid Ryan's attack. Yeah, as one of my favourite Sly Cube game of all time is definitely Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Easily my favourite Sly game. I just love everything about that game. I'll definitely give that game a solid 10 out of 10 for me. Then, of course, then I'll say Sly 3 is my next favourite, then Thieves in Time, and then the first one. The first Sly game definitely feels a bit... Doesn't feel meh compared to the other Sly games, but definitely feels different and definitely the most data than all crap. That is going to cost me, I think. Why have just got three kills with his level one? That is really going to cost me. Okay, now I've got no no excuse now to use Sly's level three. Okay, I just need to make sure I can build up that pretty easily. So far, so good. Hopefully, I get level three. Come on, please. Yes! Oh my god, I should have done it right. Let's, let's show off Sly's level three. Watch at that. Three kills, nice. This lasts quite a while as well. Why did I want my revenge? Die. Oh, I only got three kills. Right, I'm on tie with Raiden, so this could go into overtime if if I if I don't get a kill, another kill by the end of this. I need to make sure Raiden doesn't get another kill, because then this mission then this match is over for me. Oh. Slot Ratchet just took out Raiden. Nice one, Ratchet. That's definitely gonna come in handy. I need to get I need to get rid of Raiden's level one before he can use it, because if he uses it, it's gonna be very costly. Nice! Oh, can I use level two? I'll tell you what's wrong, I'm gonna level two. What the hell just happened there? Okay. Fight level two. Yes! Okay. Oh. Oh, don't move around the map for Christ's sake. Thank you, Ratchet. That should do it. That should hopefully do it. Right, take away some of Ryan's XP. Nice, that was not enough. You may have noticed those slides. If you played the Slide Cube games, the, the animation of Slide Cube games changes when you get to the fourth game. That's because the fourth Slide game was not developed by Sucker Punch. Slide 1 and Slide 2 were developed by Sucker Hang on a sec. As I was saying, Sly 1, Sly 2 and Sly 3 were developed by Sucker Punch and the 4th Sly game was developed by Sanzaro and of course they decided to go with a different animation to Sly. While I definitely prefer the original Sly's original animation, the 4th animation in the 4th game is actually pretty or it's actually pretty decent. Okay, in this match we have Heihachi, Evil Cult and Big Daddy. So Heihachi's going to up his game a bit so I need to be, be a bit wary of him. Just hope I can take him out or get more kills than him at least. It's a time match, I've got three minutes to do it, so hopefully that'll be enough time for me. Paris, Sly Cooper. Ah, Sly's home turf. Glad to drop in. Kuzina. Let's get it on. The parasite will be punished. Ready? That's cool, sir. Let's get Fight. it on. Let's do this, right? Okay, I need to be very, I need, this is Sly's home turf, so hopefully this will skip Sly confidence, but however, I'm not, I'm not Sly Cooper, so, I don't know why I'm saying that, right. Okay, I just hope, I'm going to see if I can get Sly 3, because I love Sly's Sly 3, if I can use, maybe I'll use Sly's Sly 2 as well. Sly's Sly 1 is great, but I do think I'm not the most effective with it, so, I don't, I might just avoid using that. Oh, crap. Ooh! Bloody hell. Oh man, that is going to cost me a thing. It's been taken out, so I really need to concentrate now. Right, I need to, I need to get to level 3 nice and easy. I've got just over 2 minutes to it, that should be enough time. Just the animation that Sly has in this game is, is how he appears in the 4th game. Sly's anima the, 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 the animation in Sly 4 is different compared to Sly 1, Sly 2 and Sly 4. That's because Sly 4 was made by a different game developer. The game was still... Sly 4 was still great though. It's still very well received because Sansaru kept still kept the things that made Sly Cooper great, so... In fact, the, anim the art style that the animation that Sly has in the 4th game is actually pretty decent, so it's not really great game-breaking. 
See if I can kill him. Oh, I got two kills. Brilliant. Now I'm on Tiger Cop. That was fair. I was said I was going to use my level 1, but I just had no choice then. I thought if I wasted the points to get to my level 3, I don't think I would have had the opportunity to get more kills on Cole. Oh, God. Phew. Level 1. Fantastic. Oh, God. Let's see if I can get to level 3, though. So I thought it would be nice to start level 3 again and get familiar with it. It will be useful for when I have to take out Sly's rival character. I think the character Sly's paired up with is actually quite a strange one, but I think it works really well because of the way the story is tied together. Of course, the story of this arcade mode of the Sly is that two of his pages from the Phoenix Raccoons have gone missing. And however, the person that actually has them is his rival PlayStation character. And I'll tell you who that is when we get to it, if some of you have not played this before. So I think it'd be quite... So yeah, I think it's actually quite well how PlayStation L Santa Monica actually put that together. Um, let me get out of the way. Woohoo. Okay, I'm out of the way. That's great. I'm always level 3. Yes, let's do this. Time to rack up some kills. Of course. Got Heihachi. Who's next? Big Daddy is going to be quite an easy character for me. Right, Heihachi again. You're not gonna. Oh, I've missed Heihachi. Damn it. Evil Cop was so sneaky there. He literally appeared. He literally went up there to avoid me. I, I didn't actually. I was wondering where Evil Cop was. I'm thinking, where is he? Yeah, and he was hiding up there. I should have. I should have realised that. I think it's safe to say, thanks for my little three, I've actually won this game. I think Heihachi might actually be last. I might be wrong on that, but I've not seen him actually get any kills yet. Oh God. Nice. The match is over. I actually lost. <laughs> he came fourth, nice, and he was actually on a harder difficulty than all the others. I don't think I've actually seen that before. Okay, then let's get out of this match. Now we've got the kills matches. We have Toro, Dante, and Jack. Oh, Jack's this game. I want to go easy on Jack. Yeah, my favourite Sly game is going to be Sly 2 Band of Thieves. I actually, I just love that game to pieces. I think it's so nostalgic for me. I used to put hours and hours into it. I just, I just think it's amazing, really. Enough said. Oh, I like this map. I love the music that plays on this map. It's so good. Glad to drop in. Jack and Dash in this game, I really do not want to take them out, of course. I think it'll be easier if Sly went... Sly's got a great... Sly's quite effective, though, at the kills matches, because Sly has very has very good all-star attacks. So if I get to level 2, that should be enough for Sly to get three kills, hopefully. I just need to know. Right. Jack, you're not helping me here. Oh, God. God, oh God. Right. Level 1, great. I'm not going to use Slice L1, I'm going to focus more on the level 2 attack for this, because I think the level 2 attack would be definitely much easier to get free kills with. I'm t literally targeting Jack right now, but oh well. Oh god, get away from Toro. Huh. I don't know what the hell Toro was thinking then. Okay, this should be easy for me to get level 2, thanks to this power up. Level 2, I need to wait. Yeah, I've done it. Just like that, Sly clears the house for his level 2 attack. Nice. You've messed with the wrong raccoon. Okay, let's see the next match we've got. We have Par Rapper, Sir Daniel, and Sackboy. Yeah, this shouldn't be too difficult. I wonder what map we're on, though, because... Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if we've actually been on every map in this Let's Play. I don't know if I've showed every single map. I'm not sure. Some I can't show the practice mode maps because, of course, you can only use them for practice. Time Station Ape Escape. Well, this is a good map. This should be pretty awesome. Glad to drop I am in. <laughs> Ready? Okay, let's do this. By the way, the, pra the practice maps are not only for practice mode. You, you can't. They're not available in the arcade mode. You have. The arcade maps are pretty much the only maps that are available are the ones 
that use in other video games. So I'm using the Apes, I'm playing on the Apescape map right now, and of course, the you've never seen a practice mode map in this, any of the arcade mode Let's Play so far. The only um, PlayStation All Stars maps you're going to see are the All Star Arena and the. Um, I think that's pretty much the only one, the All Star Arena. That's the only map you're going to see. That's for the, when you meet the rival character, and that's also for the final boss in the game when we take on the body. Oh, man. Okay, I'm nearly at level 2. Right, how did I get to level 2 that quick? I thought I wasn't even on level 1 yet. Okay. Oh god, right. Level 2, come on. Level 2, please. Yes! Yes! Come on, come on. Oh, for god's sake, power up. I've got two kills though, that's fine. But I should have had three kills though. I think I'll use my level 1 for now, so all I need is one kill. Let's hope I'm going to do this in a decent time. Thank you very much. Oh, let's use the fish. Oh. Ah. Oh. Yes! No! Oh my god, that was so sneaky. Sir Daniel was on level 2, that does not look good. It's always these matches. Last time this was the match. The kills match number 2 was how was the one I lost quite frequently with Colonel Ruddock in the last episode. I do not want that to happen right now. Yes. Where is oh, Cooper's there? No, oh, for God's sake! Ugh. Okay, for some reason I'm really not using Style Cell 1 to most effective at the moment. Oh god. No! Oh, fuck it. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. I knew Sir Daniel was going to do that. Bastard. Right, let's do that again. Oh, I should have seen that coming. That's why I was desperate to get Sir Daniel and get level 1 kill in time, because I knew that was going to happen. I knew Sir Daniel was going to lose level 2 attack and literally wipe everyone out just like that. I saw it coming, but I didn't react to it quickly enough. I was literally right above him when he activated the attack. Oh, bastard. Hello, you ready? Okay, let's do this. Ah, this time, I'm not going to be so easy. You were messing with yours truly. Sly Cooper. Yep, Sly Cooper's not a guy you want to mess with. Especially, he's a very stealthy character and he will get you. He will get you. I need the axe. I need the axe. I still got the attacks. Number one, fantastic. Keep the engine running. Ah, that's it. Nice. I need more XP. I need to finish this off as quick as possible. Level two. Let's do this. Slide power up and away from me, and I did it. Nice. You just mess with yours truly. That's something that Sly gets Sly Slays in the Sly Cooper games. Okay. One level 58, let's go meet Sly's rival character, and I think this is actually quite an awesome pair up. It's quite a strange one, but I think it fits in quite well with story purposes. Okay guys, enjoy this cutscene. It's quite an interesting one. Aha. Uh -huh. There they are. I'm sure I'm getting closer. I can just figure out this last bit. Careful, careful. A real thief would know just how valuable those are. And I suppose you know what they are, huh? Squirrel boy? Sure, they're mine. Really? They're definitely not the property of some two-bit treasure hunter who found them. Well, it shouldn't be too much trouble for you to take them off me then. Come on. Uh, Drake just challenged Sly Cooper to a fight. Yeah, this actually fits in pretty well because the pages Nathan Drake has in his hand are actually two, the pages of the Thievist Raccoonist. Glad to drop in. All right, you guys asked for it. Ready? Ready? Actually, Nathan, you asked Fight. for it. Right, let's do this. Let's whoop his ass. Actually, I do love the Uncharted games. I think they're amazing. I was playing Uncharted 4 a few seconds last night. And it was actually the first time I've actually played it in ages. And I'm actually... Of course, Uncharted 4 a few seconds is my favourite Uncharted game. And I just forgot how amazing it was. I literally, I'm literally revisiting it right now. And I was literally on the game for two hours last night because it was that good. Okay, I'm on level 1, but I'm not going to use Murray's level 1 attacks. I think Drake could easily evade it. Yeah, let's get his XP. Ah. 
As you can see, I'm not doing as great with Sly as I did with Rydek and Kratos, because Rydek and Kratos fit my playstyle more better than Sly does. Ooh. But since I've beaten Sly Cooper on All-Star before, I thought I might as well do it again. When I was going to play a Sly, I'm familiar with Sly, but yeah, not as familiar with him as I am with Rydek and Kratos, or with Jack or Drake. In the next episode, I'm going to be playing as Nathan Drake, because he's next on the roster, and... It's quite handy because Nathan Drake's story actually connects in quite well with Sly Cooper because the pages Nathan Drake has are actually part of the Thievus Raccoonus. And what's actually on this page is like a map and Nathan Drake goes out to find treasure only to realise that that map is actually in was in the Thievus Raccoonus. I think that, if I remember correctly, that's how the story goes. Okay, let's take out Drake. Yes, right, need one more. Oh, I'm not going to get another kill. Right, I'm going to wait, for, I'm going to use Sly's level 3 now. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, he caught me off guard then. He really caught me off guard. But I'm in level 1 already, thanks to his taunt attack. His taunt move, rather. Okay. This, I'm going to be here a while if I'm going to get to level 3. Because Nathan Drake is seriously going on my ass right now. end this quickly before he gets any more kills. I need to corn him to his level 1 but I'm not going to use my level 1. Right, there we go. Ah. It's quite annoying that Sly can't block but there's a reason for that because he turns invincible, he disappears off the screen instead of literally blocking which I think is actually better for Sly as he is a stealthy character. I'm almost level 3 now, I can't lose now. I cannot muck up. Oh, he just got rid of my XP, a little rat. Frick. Oh, he got rid of even more XP, right. Time to get rid of some of his XP, payback. Oh, that was sneaky. I wasn't expecting Drake to do that. I need to get to level 3 quickly so I can take him out. Hopefully my level 3 will be enough to get two kills on him, hopefully. Is that enough level 3? No, it's not. I need to, still need to attack Drake more. Yeah, I'm not using Sly in the most effective way, so I'm not the most effective with Sly. Okay, let's do this. Time to take him out. Focus on as many targets as possible. Don't make yourselves too comfortable around me now. And just one more kill now, come on. Yes! Victory. Done it! And just like that, Cooper wins. Nathan Drake picks the wrong fight. Okay, let's go meet the Polygon Man now. Let's go take him out. The final match in the game ends, of course, a fight with the Polygon Man, as we should all know by now. Okay, let's do this. When it loads, for some reason this takes a while to load. I don't know why that is, compared to all the other matches in the game. the first opponent to take out and I'm literally getting boxed right now. The way to, good, the way to get good at PlayStation or Sato is not to play with every single character like I am right now. The best way to get good with this game is to find a character that suits your playstyle and then keep playing as him until you get really good with him. That's the way to get good at this game, especially if you want to play online. I know online it no longer exists in this game so it got taken down this month. Oh god, this better not be. But I need to take away some of the rapper's XP. Or maybe not. And here come the Jack and Daxter turrets. That's not good. Level 1. Fantastic. Yes. Oh god. Oh no, no, no. Avoid the turret. They just did that. Ah. Yes. Got him. Okay, he's used the rocket launcher on the polygon, man. Easily replaced. Ooh. There we go. Oh, and Alex, this will come in handy. Perfect time for this one. We've got Sweet Tooth and Hey Hatchet. See if I can get to level 1. With it. Yes, I can. 
Oh, I got Hey Hatchet. Oh, I got Sweet Tooth, but not Hey Hatchet. Okay, she uses gun on him. I went all three directions then to make sure he can't avoid my missiles. Yes, come on. There we go. I need to corner him though, so Sly can use Murray effectively. Like this. No, for God's sake. Let's get some of his XP. Oh, that wasn't enough. Oh god, oh no, 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 he's got the rocket launcher. This is not good. Let's get out of the way. Oh, I've just been puked on by that horrible monster. That monster appears in the Resistance games, by the way. Yeah, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think that's from Resistance. It must be. Yeah, I think it is Resistance. That definitely looks like a Chimeran um, monster thing. Level 1. Nice. Wait, shall I go to level 2? Yeah, I'll go to level 2 just to be sure I take him out. Because if I try using my level 1 then I think I might be here all day, so... Let's just go to level 2. I'll use level 2 for the next bit when we have to take out all three of them. I'll, I'll go up to level 2 for that bit. There we go. Now it's time to take out the Polymer Gun Man again. Let's just use the gun man. Flying the army hit. Right, he's been taken down. Nice. Now just a few more attacks. Okay. Oh god. Oh no, I saw I should have seen that coming. Let me just go out of the way. <sighs> well, I'm gonna rank up level two just to make sure I take out all three of them. So I think using my level one and all three on these guys would be a bit tricky to do. Oh, level one, good, thanks to the axe. See if I can get level two. Oh, nearly at level two though. Great. Level two, fantastic. Cool, hey, actually got that. No, so the snakes from God of War. Right, let's do this. Yes, I got all three of them. Nice. Now it's time to take out the Polygon Man once and for all. Let's end this. I sure have. I had to practice with Sly before I do this because Sly plays a bit differently compared to the other characters in the game, so I thought it would be good to have a bit of practice with him since it's been a while since I last played with him. I think we knew what he does. Just like that, the Polygon Man is down. I was not actually expecting to do this with Sly on Hero Mode. I actually got through that easier than I thought, which I wasn't expecting, to be honest. And just like that, Sly has won. Level 61 with Sly now. Yeah, Sly really did not suit my playstyle. I'm actually quite happy to get him out of the way. I love the Sly Cooper character, I love his games, but yeah, I do not love his playstyle in this game. I'm familiar with what he does, but I'm just not familiar with how to play as him. I'm definitely not the most effective with him. If I played a slight on multiplayer, I would have got killed easily. Yeah, and I would have lost many matches with him. So, yeah. I'm quite happy to get Sly out of the way. Okay, guys, thank you all so much for watching this episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry it was a bit boring as I was playing with Sly, and of course I'm not very familiar with him. But in the next episode, we are going to be playing as Nathan Drake, as he's next in the roster. I am very familiar with Nathan Drake. He was one of the first characters I played as I didn't. Play as I didn't that I played as in this game. Jeez, how do I struggle to say that? So next episode we're going to be playing as Nathan Drake, which is quite handy because the story of Sly and Drake, how they arrived in this game actually, will make more sense in the next episode, as you'll see. Yeah, so okay guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button, so that really will help my, helps, my, helps my channel out. And if you want to keep up to date with all the rest of the PlayStation or stuff videos I post, please, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, because you'll make my day if you do that. Anyway guys, enjoy the last cutscene, this is GoldyX and I'm out. <laughs> what a score! What a lunatic risk! Do you have any idea how many times we almost bought it out there? I know how many times we didn't. What a team! You guys were dynamite. It's true! Our awesomeness did explode like dynamite in their fat faces! Looks like you picked up a few moves out there. Oh, that's not all I picked up. Read them and weep, fellas. No, seriously, read them. I can't make heads or tails of them. 
a very written in ancient Mesopotamian. The only translator I know of lives in Istanbul. Whoa, check out the speed. I can get us there by midnight. Buckle up, Broncos. The van's running hot.